What's up, YouTube? How you doing, guys? Professor Reese with another Bladeosophy Sunday. This time, um, we're gonna move a little bit to some things, and we're going to change for next Sunday our um, episode on the Book of Five Rings by Miyamoto Musashi. Uh, in order to give some space to this uh, video um, and this is a reflection on 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 the topic I'll tell you the topic in a, in a second but also I'm going to make it an open tag there I have um, fortunately I have many friends in in YouTube in the um, international community. Um, I had a wonderful response from many, many channels from my last tag and, and enjoyed watching each and every one of those videos. It's, uh, they are in, in a list uh, from that tag, what knife uh, defines you the most. And in, in this case I'm going to talk about the topic and leave the tag open for just everyone okay I will name it with a tag video of course and um, well I, I do want to specify um, one person that I was talking with and that is uh, Stephen from Patty's Potatoes Potato Peelers and we we spoke on the phone for quite a while and it was wonderful to get to know him and you know to just lay some ideas out and uh, so we we kind of i had this this whole thing that i've been going through and uh patty just well steven <laughs> um helped me clear clear it up and uh, we both enjoyed I, I, I think our conversation and the topic and we both decided that uh, I was going to um, to do this video so the tag goes for Stephen for Patty's potatoes peel potato peelers and um, the topic where are you on your knife path and I'll explain a bit here on the table you can see um, different blades um, folding knives and uh, f um, fixed blades and this is a little bit uh, a sum up of my path in, in the knife um, in the knife topic in my life um, I started with a buck 110 like many people and uh, I, I don't know where it ended up but I, I remember that I, I used it hard and, and good and it was a good knife and from there I started using axes um, because I, I, I started, um, I traveled to Spain and there I was the assistant of a, of a, a person who cuts trees, a logger or a, 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 what you might call it, I don't remember right now the, the word, but anyways, he taught me how to use uh, an ax and well, from there had my project up in the mountains here where I live for 10 years or so and there I learned how to use machetes and um, this type of knives these knives that are um, made from um, files these are very common and cheap here they are still sold and well they're pretty good they're pretty good and and uh, 
I, I still like these knives. Um, of course, you gotta take take care of them because they'll rust and immediately. And uh, the edge is it's not, they don't re retain that sharpness um, for long. And from there, I started getting more and more interested. At the same time, well, I got my uh, first uh, Victorinox, which I love. This one's not it. I, I have another one that was a, a dear gift. And I started looking into blades and fixed knives, especially knives. That, that was like my first love. Um, I fell for knives. And uh, of course, who wouldn't know uh, Amora? And um, they are just uh, fantastic uh, budget-friendly knives and continued that, on that path and evolved. Here I, I have a, just a few examples and ending up, well, um, evolved and, and got better materials, more ergonomic, just wonderful to work with. That's it. By the way, this is a Condor um, Bushlor. And this is a uh, Yakari Puko from Barustaleka. Wonderful, wonderful knife. Un and then, until finally, after, you know, watching many videos, learning, I got to, and buying other knives, I got to um, the top of my heel, the climax of, of my knives, which is um, this Buck River Gunny Scandi, which is an absolute beauty. I love this knife. And as you can see, I started with bigger knives and then went down to what um, very recently I fell in love with traditionals and in the traditionals I found this this um, beauty which is a Great Eastern Cutlery knife 1095 steel my Carter handles wonderful beautiful small little knife love it and in folding knives um, this brand, I don't think you have it in the US. I think we only have it in Mexico since it's not that good. <laughs> Anyways, the brand is Wally's. And I went through some six, seven uh, of these um, blades, this brand, and they all broke or, or um, had major um, problems. And this, this is actually a pretty good one. The steel sucks. I use it one time and I have to sharpen it immediately. Um, but as you can see, I, I give uh, maintenance to, to the blade. Uh, I acid edged it and uh, just uh, take care of it. And, and it's in perfect conditions. And then I discovered the Ontario rats and specifically the red one. In D2, it's, I love this knife. I have mentioned before, this is, for me, this is the goat of budget knives. And uh, love this, this blade. Um, went through many more Benchmades and the 940 and uh, the Spidey Chef and the uh, Cold Steel's wonderful. And I arrived to this wonderful knife. For me, from Spyderco, this is my favorite. Uh, there is the PM2, of course. There's There, there are many. Uh, the Spidey Chef, but the Shaman. The Shaman is, is, is a, a knife more fit uh, for my hand. And then got my first and I think the only uh, Soko, Microtech Soko Elite. Wonderful, wonderful and, and big, 
blade. Love this thing. Um, I don't know if uh, it happens to all, but it came with a little defect, I think. Um, this screw is just impossible to, to tighten or, or loosen up. Um, or was it this one? It was this one. So it came to, the blade came a bit too loose and I wanted it to tighten it up. And anyways, this screw is just impossible to move and, and uh, I'm gonna write to Microtech to see if they can change this screw because it got a few scratches with the screwdriver when trying to loosen it up and I still can't move it. But anyways, and then like I mentioned, um, I arrived to traditional knives. Perhaps some might think, well, you should have started there, but it went the other way around. And I, I am in love with traditional knives. Um, with all of them, uh, particularly with uh, Barlow's, they are, oh man, I, I, I love those designs. But when I first started, when I started learning about um, blades from the US community, I heard uh, a very strange terminology or, or weird in, in the world of knives. And I heard the term, the sacred trinity. And from that moment on, I knew I fixed my objective and I knew I had to get that um, trinity. And I knew I wanted to be the first Mexican channel to uh, have that trinity. And after more than a year and a half, much more, um, it's, it's been two years or so, I managed to get it. The Strider SNG, the Sabenza 31, and actually the Hinderer XM18, I got it from um, Metal Complex. I bought one of his, uh, a, a wonderful, wonderful Hinderer. And, but it, I still haven't been able to get it uh, from the United States to Mexico. So I'm still waiting for that but it's already bought and paid for and well actually that was the first one and then well here we have the Sabenza 31 and the Strider SNG now I'm not a collector per se I'm a user I, I do collect to use no matter uh, if the price no matter the brand I will use them I am using them and um, I knew I wanted this uh, three because I wanted to put them head to head in in a competition and that's what's gonna happen as soon as it gets here um, I will carry these um, as I as I have carried most of my blades and will try to give, will give you an honest opinion on my perspective, just my perspective, okay? But what's important here is the path, the time spent, the money spent, of course, um, but the evolution of this hobby, of going uh, from something like, um, like this uh, Victorinox or a, a, a knife um, that was a file, a file knife, a Mora, you know, a rat, these Wallies, going from these knives and arriving to these. It's a uh, it's very um, difficult. It was very difficult to get them. I couldn't have done it uh, without the help of uh, a few people uh, from the States uh, whom, who I consider friends and, and just uh, very generous people willing to help. 
Uh, you know who you are, and I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, But not just that. I arrived here and I'm questioning if th they are worth what I paid for. Um, if they are worth the price, the materials, the brand, the construction, the design, they're, they're wonderful and they're perfect. It's, it's, I'm not questioning that. What I'm questioning is um, paying, um, I don't know, $600 for a tool and of course, there's going to be differences. You know, if, if I choose a tool of um, I don't twenty dollars, or a tool of two hundred dollars, you know, I could have uh, very well stayed here with this wonderful, wonderful knife, and uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to serve me um, my whole life. Um, so I am. I am debating in, in that question. This is not to criticize anybody. This is just my process and I'm sharing my process where I'm at. Because after these, um, I really uh, fell in love with traditionals. And um, just every single part of them. And of course their price is very different and their use is very different. Um, but um this evolution was somewhat uh, you know i ended up with traditionals so it surprised me it really surprised me and anyways i would like to know where are you in your process where are you in this path of um of this hobby so there's the open tag. I'm just going to tag Patty um, and hope uh, more people join and tag others and we can make it uh, a, a bigger tag because uh, I really like to get to know uh, people and, and this is a, a, a nice way of getting to know you all. Um, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Tag someone, as a professor, of course, I'm gonna leave you with some homework. Please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Share with uh, friends and family. Click on the bell so notifications arrive. I'm gonna make more videos in English. And um, like and participate. I always respond to your questions or, or comments. And uh, you can reach me there. Uh, professor EDC, Professor with one S, at hotmail.com, and my Instagram is also Professor EDC with one S, okay? So have a great, great week, and hope to see you in the comments and um, respond to all your comments, all right? You take care, guys. Professor EDC out.